Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to use a text-based script to demonstrate the print and input functions, variables and the importance of comments. The first thing we need to do is create an empty script inside of Pythonista. To do that, you swipe from the left towards the right to open up the left menu. Then tap the bottom left plus button, select empty script, type in the name, we're going to call it basic IO. I'm going to put mine in the code workshop folder. Finally, tap create. This is going to give us an empty script to start with. The first thing I want to show you how to do is how to use comments. Comments are like little notes. They don't actually do anything, they're just there for your information. They're really useful. I usually put the name of my script at the top and then the date. The next thing I want to show you how to do is how to assign a variable. We're going to have a variable called fruit and we're going to assign it the value of apple. Notice that I needed to put apple in quote marks. That's because it's a string. A string is either a word or a sentence. We're going to print it out using the print function. You need to make sure that you write print in little letters and that you're using round brackets. Whatever you type inside the round brackets is going to be printed out. In this case, we're going to print out fruit. Now would be another good opportunity to write a comment. The next thing to do would be to make this a little bit more interactive. I'm going to hash out line number four. That means it's no longer going to run. I'm going to replace it with this line. All input does is ask the user a question and then assign whatever they've answered into the variable on the left hand side. The user is going to get asked what is your favourite fruit and whatever they type in is going to be saved inside the fruit variable. It's then going to print it out. I'm going to show you how to join two strings together. So we're going to add on is good to the end of this. So I'm using the plus symbol, which used in this context is called the concatenation operator. Concatenation means joining two strings together. So whatever the user typed in is going to get added to space is space good. Finally, we're going to have a little look at if statements and construct an if and else statement. There are some main points you need to take note of when you're constructing an if statement. The first thing is when you're comparing two strings together or two numbers, you need to make sure that you're using the double equals. The double equals is a comparison operator, whereas the single equals is called the assignment operator. Also, you need to use colons and you need to make sure your indentation is correct. So notice there's a little indentation here and there's also one underneath the else. So what happens is if the user has entered apple as their choice, then it's going to say good choice. If they've entered anything else except apple, it's going to say that's okay. 